Harry Potter <laughs> and the portrait of what looked like a large pile of ash. <laughs> Published by Botnik. That's the name of that's the name of the AI. Right, oh, let's go. Thanks, Botnik. Chapter thirteen. The correct place to begin. <laughs> the handsome one. <clears throat> Coughs as if to clear throat. The castle ground snarled with a wave of magically magnified wind. The sky outside was a great black ceiling, which was full of blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> the only sounds drifting from Hagrid's hut were the disdainful shrieks of his own furniture. Magic. It was something that Harry Potter thought was very good. <laughs> That's fucking good, isn't it? <laughs> Leathery sheets of rain lashed at Harry's ghost as he walked across the grounds towards the castle. Ron was standing there and doing a kind of frenzied tap dance. He saw Harry and immediately began to eat Hermione's family. <laughs> As you do. I'm sorry. Ron's Ron shirt was just as bad as Ron himself. <laughs> if you two can't come properly, I'm going to get aggressive. <laughs> Confessed the reasonable Hermione. <laughs> <laughs> what about Ron magic? Offered Ron. To Harry, Ron was a loud, slow, and soft bird. <laughs> Harry... <laughs> Harry did not like to think about birds. <laughs> Death Eaters are on top of the castle. Ron bleated, quivering. Ron was going to be spiders. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! He just was. He wasn't proud of that. But it was going to be hard to not have spiders all over his body after all is said and done. <laughs> Look! Said Hermione. Obviously there are lords of Death Eaters in the castle. Let's listen in on their meetings. The three complete friends zapped onto the landing outside the door of the castle roof. They almost legged it, but witches are not climbing. <laughs> Ron looked at the doorknob and then looked at Hermione with searing pain. I think it's closed! He noticed. Locked. <laughs> said Mr. Staircase, a shabby robed ghost. <laughs> They looked at the door, screaming about how closed it was, and asking it to be replaced with a small orb. The password was... BEEF WOMEN! <laughs> oh, my, he cried. <laughs> Women made of beef. <laughs> Harry, Ron and Hermione quietly stood behind a circle of Death Eaters, who looked bad. I think it's okay if you like me. Said one Death Eater. Oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Replied the other. The first Death Eater confidently leaned forward and plant to plant a kiss on his cheek. Oh, well done. <laughs> said the second as his friend stepped back again. All the other Death Eaters clapped politely. And then all took a, a few minutes to go over the plan to get rid of Harry's magic. Just saying, but the Death Eaters sound like the good guys. <laughs> <laughs> They're just giving each other kisses and telling each other they like them. <laughs> and then rounds, <laughs> rounds of applause is for a good kiss. <laughs> <laughs> good show. Is this really the next page? Yeah. Okay. Still in the same chapter, the handsome one. <laughs> Harry could tell that Voldemort was standing right behind him. He felt a great overreaction. I thought I said overreaction. <laughs> <laughs> Harry tore his eyes from his head and threw them into the forest. 
<laughs> what are you gonna do that for? <laughs> no! <laughs> it gets better with this line, boys. Voldemort raised his eyebrows at Harry, who could not see anything at the moment. <laughs> Voldemort, you're a very bad and mean wizard. Harry savagely said. <coughs> Hermione nodded encouragingly. The tall Death Eater was wearing a shirt that said, Hermione has forgotten how to dance. <laughs> so Hermione dipped his face in his <laughs> face. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Are you okay, Will? Ron threw a wand at Voldemort and everyone applauded. Ron smiled. Ron reached for his wand slowly. Ron's the handsome one. Muttered Harry as he reluctantly reached for his. They cast a spell or two. The jets of green light shot out of the Death Eater's heads. Ron flinched. Not so handsome now, thought Harry as he dipped Hermione <laughs> in hot sauce. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> the Death Eaters were dead now, and Harry was hungrier than he had ever been. The Great Hall was filled with incredible moaning chandeliers and a large librarian who had decorated the sinks with books about masonry. <laughs> Mountains of mice exploded. <laughs> Several long pumpkins fell out of them. <laughs> oh no, I've lost my pumpkins. Dumbledore's hair scooted next to Hermione as Dumbledore arrived at school. The pig of Hufflepuff pulsed like a large bullfrog. <laughs> Dumbledore smiled at it and placed his hand on its head. You are Hagrid now. <laughs> We're, We're the, the only, only people, people who must have. He's never He's going never to get, get rid of us. <laughs> Harry, Hermione, and Ron said in chorus. Yeah, in chorus. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Jack. <laughs> hey, the Jack floor of the castles. Thing. Shut the fuck up, you neek. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. The floor of the castle seemed like a large pile of magic. That's the it. Dursley had never been to the castle. And they were not about to come there in Harry Potter and the portrait <laughs> of what looked like a large pile of ash. It's so meta, dude. <laughs> Why have they been mentioned? <laughs> the Dursleys. Well, they've never been there, and they were not about to come there. <laughs> <laughs> it's because that, that's Harry's muggle family. Yeah, I know, but why have they been mentioned? I don't know. Dude, the AI just wanted to talk about the Dursleys for a bit, and also wanted to Fair remind enough. you what book you yeah, made. The next line, though. They're, they're a staple group of characters in Harry Potter in the portrait of what looked like a large pile of ash. <laughs> Harry looked around and then fell down a spiral staircase for the rest of the summer. <laughs> That's a long staircase. I'm Harry Potter! Harry began yelling. The dark arts better be worried! Oh boy! <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! Is that it or is there more? That's the end. That's chapter 13 done. And that concludes wow. chapter 13 of Harry Potter. David's voice was so soothing. Hey, can you not? I'm trying to do an outro over here. Do it, David. <laughs> and so concludes chapter 13. Of Harry Potter in the portrait of what looked like a large pile of ash. I hope you join us next week for chapter 14. I've been David from Sit House. See you next time.